Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. My beautiful viewer photo for today with clear skies as far as the eye can see. And that really has been what the conditions have been like for us today. We have seen some areas with a few clouds. It looks a bit hazy off that Aubrey Butte camera right now, which we definitely see those opportunities. The Sun River Resort showing off the gorgeous sunset tonight. And when the skies are clear, and this is one of the one of the cameras that it's hardest to see the Cascades off, unless it's really clear you can see one of our beautiful cascade mountains right there this is what our satellite and radar image looks like the only clouds we have really that are moving are here in that southeast corner of the state but the rest of oregon and quite a bit of everywhere around us are all completely clear and on the warm side as we've been talking about most of the day today for our state temperatures we're finally starting to see some of the hotter areas that we were detecting earlier getting back into the mid 90s but today for us at least is not going to be the hottest day that we have this week. We have two more opportunities to be nice and toasty warm way up in the triple digits for some of our lower elevations. The winds this afternoon and early evening are backing into those mid teens. We have the possibility to continue these afternoon winds 15 to 20 miles per hour and gusts up to 25 in some of our stronger and more windy areas. Now, when we take a look at everything that's impacting us, we still have this high pressure that's taking over the entire United States. Still seeing that troughing way, way, way off to the east. But for us, if you pay attention to the high pressure center as we go through each of the next couple of days today through Thursday, you'll notice it does not move right here from today and tomorrow. We see some of that warmer air moving up into the region, but then as we go into Wednesday, it already starts to drop back down. So we have Thursday, I should say, and Friday are the two days we cool down before we warm up again. This is how it impacts our future track. Just like we saw on Friday, just like we saw yesterday and today, nothing has changed. We see just a few clouds coming over the Cascades with the majority of everything else staying through the valley and along the west slopes. And that's right now what we were expecting all the way until Saturday morning. The temperatures do the little jump, just a little hill we climb and then we drop and then we climb again. Right now we have most of this region, the four areas are in the low 90s, high 90s still in warm springs, and then the rest of the region we have those mid to upper 80s overnight temperatures nothing different than we've seen for at least the last month a nice drop right down into those low 50s which does put us slightly warmer than last night ranging from the mid 40s to about those mid 50s tomorrow's daytime temperatures on the warmer side with a few of us possibly hitting those triple digits but as i mentioned to you a bit ago we cool down thursday friday